For this problem we're asked to subtract and we're told that we're going to have the same denominator. So looking at these two fractions we do have the same denominator on both sides, the left and the right. And that's going to make things quite a bit easier for us because when we subtract we keep that common denominator. So we're still going to have the 7 in the bottom. Nothing happens to it, it doesn't get added or subtracted. When you have common denominators for addition and subtraction, you keep that denominator. So all we have to do is figure out what to do with the tops. And since this is a subtraction problem, we have in the top a 6 minus a 4. We just subtract the tops. 6 minus 4 gives us 2. So our fraction is 2 sevenths. We would try to reduce that if possible. However, this one doesn't reduce. Two sevenths.